Hello. Oh, hello. You're listening to Cosmic Boss Improv Revisor. Imp- Is that I get that right? Improv Revisation. Improv Revisation. Episode 3. I- uh, oxymoronic something. Hold on a second. Let me just read it's, it. It's oxymoronic. Electronic atomic Hotel. That's right. Well done. Pinch me. Thank you. Just enjoying the podcast. Well, it's very good, isn't it? It's lovely, Dungeoneer. Yeah, really nice.
we gon' be gone all weekend, ready or not Shrouded in the cloud, no need for speaking, looks in the plot Thing that happened way back long ago, testing my luck Cause all I see right now is up Floating up in space like a satellite, I get epic out Brought me in a rocket, I said let me drive I was born to fly, cracked this bit off, I'm in the overdrive Shooting for the stars, don't you close your eyes? Miss it in a blank cosmic paradise Hungry for the better, I got appetite You can put me out, but I always really like it a video the other day Ooh. from uh, from a, a thing called Cosmic Boss and that's what actually what this podcast was wow and uh, if I had a tiny I saw him tiny space man was in a video really it was, all, it, was, it was amazing how many videos just oh. for one well I saw one or two I, uh, they, I think they've done a third one which Ooh, uh, really neat yes I, I should go and see really and yes. we, should, we should look it up and Let's watch it it's called Cosmic Boss Ooh, yeah, yeah. it's really good tiny okay. space man
typing. I'm, I'm not going right now. I'm sorry. It's not a computer. It's a plant. Yes, I mean, you can't type on a plant. No, but the leaves are very soft. It's fun.
What's your favorite type of music then, Jethro? My favorite type of music is dub. Do you like the dub? I do. Well, there's, there isn't any dub on this uh, episode. No but, dub. Uh, I feel they may do some dub in the future one, maybe. Some future dub? That's yeah, my absolute, absolute favorite. That's the best thing ever, isn't I it? Called future dub. Future dub. The future of dub is doubly. Lovely doubly. Lovely doubly. Lovely doubly future of dub. It doesn't really matter if it makes sense or not, as long as you're enjoying it. I mean, just look at Hollywood. Almost everything they do. It's Absolute. all nonsense. It's absolutely. So they blow up bloody airports. Nobody nope. blinks an eyelid. No, nope, no eyelids are blinked. It's absolutely crazy. Everyone's eyes are pinned open. Yep. All they can do is stare at the sky. And they can't do anything about it. They can't tell anyone. No. No one, no one cares.
your soul, you somehow meet the double, it dawns on you who it is, and it's you. It seems to me, as a rationalist, that if you're having a conversation with someone, there must be rules in communication theory. Someone must understand this. Must understand this. Must understand this. Must understand this. Someone must understand this. Somehow the the task of the of uh, I don't know self growth or spiritual understanding is to get a perspective on this, get an image to become all space and all time. That's what those guys and gals sitting there for 40. 
eight years in Zazen must be looking at. They have become everything, not in some metaphoric or pissant way, but they have become everything. And that's uh, and they've done it through an act of identification with the internal image of the totality. I mean, this sounds to me awfully almost it's too airy fairy, but it's because we don't have a control language for it. But it's a it's a real thing. We must learn to be able to command the image of the totality. Someone must understand this. Must understand this. Someone must understand this. I've had experiences like in the Amazon where it would seem that I could see at all times, almost out of the corner of my eye, I could see the whole planet. Like a like a whole earth decal. I, I was just always aware of it. I, I could see it in the upper right hand corner of my vision. If I just glanced up, it would be there. It would be there. Someone must understand this. It would be there. Must understand this. It would be there. Someone must understand this. You actually come up against a being which as you interact with this being, it dawns on you who it is, and it's you. Someone must understand this, and it's you who it is must understand this, and it's you that would be there. Someone must understand this. It dawns on you who it is must understand this, and it's you that would be there. Someone must understand this. It dawns on you who it is must understand and it's you that would be there. Someone must understand this. Someone must understand this. Someone must understand. You've been listening to Cosmic Boss Improv Revisation Podcast, Episode 3. Oxymoronic Atomic Hotel! Oh, that's a jolly long name, isn't it? It's a massive name! Now, the musical stylings of Chris Mays, and Andy Jackson, and Nick Jackson. Oh, yeah, there's some Nick in there. I'm pretty sure uh, there was Donnie Stacks, he did Ooh, a couple of very good a couple ones. of those tunes, yeah. And uh, Terence McKenna popped up at one point. Yep, yeah, and there's, there's a clip from the Psychedelic Salon, don't that's you know? That's a very good podcast. It's Check a lovely it podcast. Uh, everything was mastered and uh, revised by Chris Mays and Andy Jackson. Wow, those did, guys were amazing! Did a really good job, well done. I love them. But please like, share and subscribe to our amazing podcast. All of those things. It's very important. Yep, and hug a dentist. Yes, and a uh, swing with a giraffe. And clean your shoes. They're yep. really dirty. Yes, and why not give a sandwich to a fellow? Yes, and sleep in every now and then. Oh, I love sleeping in. Don't you like sleeping in? I love a good sleep yeah, in. Excellent. Good lays is good. Good lay in. Thanks for listening, everybody. We love you. Take care. Bye. Someone must understand this.